Welcome to the Brass and Woodwind Shop. I have a trumpet with a stuck valve in my shop and it works most of the way through the stroke of the valve but when you get down to the bottom it sticks. Usually when you see that problem it is because the valve cap has been hit and it has caused a dent in the bottom of the valve. What happens is when you push the valve down it works fine but then when the valve gets to the bottom of the casing where the dent is it hits the dent and then the valve sticks. To see if that's what the problem is, take off the bottom valve cap and look around, see if there are any dents or possibly casing thread problems. You can see that the casing is tapered in right here. Also you can see right there on the inside of the casing that there is a spot that has been worn down a little bit and that's from the valve hitting it. If I push the valve you can see that it works until it gets up to that spot and then it sticks there. And if I push down on the valve just a little bit, then it unsticks. This damage occurred probably when the trumpet took a hit on the bottom valve cap. And the repair for this is almost the same as it would be if there was a dent towards the bottom of the casing. To show you what the problem is, I have a cutaway of a valve section. And if you take the bottom valve cap off, you can see that the bottom of the valve casing is counterbored. What that means is that the bore of the casing is larger up to this point and then it becomes the same size as the piston. The reason the manufacturer does this is so that the, the valve does not stick at the bottom if it is dented a little bit. However, if it's dented too much it will still stick. If you'd like to watch the video on valve casing mandrels, look in the description below to a link to that video. Um, however, since the valve casing mandrel will not work, I'm going to use a tapered mandrel and it starts out small on one end and it gets tapered larger on the other end. Now what I'm going to do is remove two valve caps, one on the valve that is stuck and then another one on one of the good valves. And I'm also going to pull up two of the valves. Then make sure that there's no grit or anything that's going to destroy the valves on the mandrel. Then put the mandrel in the good valve and see where it goes up to, about right here, and mark it with your finger. And then put it in the other one, and then push the trumpet on there carefully, make sure you don't push too far, and, it, and then just make it go up to where the, uh, the other valve went up to. And it should expand the casing enough to make the valve work, but not too much. So take the valve, put it in there, and see if it works. And the valve works well, so that has solved the problem. Most valve problems are not that easy to fix, but when you do get one that is easy, be thankful for it. If it still doesn't work, then there may be another problem with the valve, so check out the other things too. I hope this video has been helpful. Please subscribe for more band instrument repair videos, and look in the description below for other related videos.